Recently, Coca-Cola have been trying to use science to plead not guilty in the obesity epidemic, and this makes me very angry. Coca-Cola have recently been busted donating millions of dollars to the science research group called Global Energy Network. Now, ostensibly, the Global Energy Network are a research group trying to find a link between the number of calories we burn, the number of calories we consume, and obesity. Aside from the obvious problems of Coca-Cola trying to fund unbiased research, there's really no point to have this group anyway. It's been long established that if the number of calories we consume is greater than the number of calories we burn, people are going to get fat, and that's not going to change. In an entire year of research, the Global Energy Network have proven that the people who put on weight in the past year were people who ate more calories than they burnt. whoop de doo It's become increasingly obvious that the Global Energy Network are just a lobby group that was set up by Coca-Cola, made more evident by the fact that their website is registered to the Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta. Now, I have no problem with corporations and companies funding scientific research. Scientists love money. Bring it on. The problem is just when they drag the name of science through the mud in the process. And this is not the first time the food and beverage industry have tried to abuse science for their own purposes. The dairy industry is renowned for funding science into the positive health benefits of calcium and then lobbying governments to include dairy as a key food group. Almost a century ago, the father of advertising, Edward Bernays, paid a doctor to say that Americans needed to have a really heavy breakfast in the morning and that breakfast was the most important meal of the day. I'm sure you've heard that one. They were being funded by the bacon industry, and of course, bacon was one of the foods that the doctor recommended as part of a well-balanced and heavy breakfast. When corporations use science for their own advantage, they damage the reputation of science, but what can we do about it? We can't stop every single scientist, doctor, and researcher from talking to the media or being paid by a company. There's always going to be a Dr. Oz out there who's happy to take a paycheck from a pharmaceutical company. What scientists should be doing is educating the public on how science is used and to not believe every single thing they hear without testing the claim. For example, if you're standing in a car yard, and a car salesman is talking to you and saying that this car is the best car ever, you're going to take their recommendations with a hint of skepticism. You might even go to the car yard across the road to get a second opinion. But when the public hears stuff that is science, we tend to just accept it at face value, no matter how bad their original research is. If the public only understood more about how science works and the value of evidence and what makes a good study, they would be less likely to be fooled when Coca-Cola inevitably discovers that, oh my god, sugar is amazing and so good for you. So scientists, instead of advocating for more science to be taught in schools and universities, what we really should be advocating is an education on understanding how science works so we can get a science literate public. Now I know this video attacking Coca-Cola is going to piss off all of those people who left angry comments underneath our aspartame video claiming that we were being funded by coca-cola and the aspartame industry but don't worry guys you can leave your angry comments underneath this video let us know how you feel and we may feature your diatribe in a future video hi everyone i'm jade lovell resident science nerd on the young turks network you're watching sci and we know you don't want to miss an episode so please click the subscribe button down below